What up? Welcome to yet another episode of the Bring the Whiskey podcast. I am one of your hosts, one third of this mother. My name is Damo Hicks. Along with me, as usual, is my co host on the far end. We got Kelvin Smith, the newbie, and in the middle, the bourbon brain, Bo Willow. And yes, I did kind of vein off. Yeah, yes, I am. Right. Yes, I am. That's all right, cause I'm hype about this podcast. Uh, about so I got my I got my own energy around this thing here today. I, so, I feel good too. The weather's changed. This is my time of year fall. Like you're a fall guy. Yeah, fall guy. You like pumpkin spice latte? Cool. No, I like being outside all day without sweat. Fair. That's fair. All right. So today that sounds um, like up no slavery, brother. Yeah. <laughs> we had. Can we can, can we make a, a, a count? Of the uh, it, what it took us like what 45 seconds before we got the first slavery reference this <laughs> week. Yeah, we run a slavery clock. We run a slavery clock every week to see how fast we get to slavery. (laughs) Because slavery. That's what your t shirt will be saying this week. Hashtag because slavery. It might. Um, All right. So, this is special to me because these are both bourbons that are close to my heart. One of the, uh, because they're they're, they're just legacy bourbons through and through. Um, Maker's Mark. Maker's Mark is usually, in my opinion, experience people's first introduction into bourbon it's it's beloved the world around um if i would dare say buffalo trace is the one people most look up to maker's mark is the distillery that's most loved mm. fact, if i can make that dis- yeah. distinction starts um, with the bottom full disclosure i'm a maker's mark ambassador so i'm biased i, I already am going to tell you i like both products i'm one and i don't yeah well and then the other ones we have here but are it dismiss me too Forrester. Old mm-hmm. Forrester has a lot of history, and we'll get into that when we get to those bottles. But one thing they have in common right off the bat, they both spell whiskey without the E. Anybody want to guess? I don't know, but I'm sure you'll tell us, Bourbon Maybe. Brain. Um, I'll take a guess. Um, made in Scotland? The history is from Scotland. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. so that history comes. So in America, you can spell whiskey with an E or with a Y. But typically, <laughs> how you know where whiskey came from or is if the country that the whiskey comes from yeah. has an E in it, mm-hmm. then whiskey also has an E. So okay. like Japanese whiskey hmm. is from Japan. So no hey, e. yeah. <laughs> you just have to say Japan like that? Like we don't know there's no because E in Japan? I, I said Jap- Japanese, which has an E in it. So I was saying from Japan, well. no E. So that's a good way. That's just a fun fact. You really know practical application. Well, when I see this All palette, right. it looks like that OG palette of, of bourbon, right? It oh, is. These guys been in the game for a minute. Their name is way out there. Right. And both of them changed the game in their own way. Yeah. We'll talk about that. Yeah. So let's get started with the Makers. And this is the you find in your grandfather's cabinet. Yeah. Oh, Makers in, in old You better believe it. Uh, well, but yeah, but there's something that. to that, too. Grandfather probably, what, 70, 60, uh, and he probably got years it. Old? He probably got it from old Forster. He knew old Forster when he was young Forster. <laughs> <laughs> when he was finding Forster. <laughs> you going to pull up the D over there? I don't know. He made me mad. We got a studio yeah. audience today. I'm going to shout out my man, Jamel. Shout out my man, Andre. They in the studio. Um, if well, y'all it, also want to partake in these flights as we partake, bring your glasses it's up. It's not It's not Andre. It's ADST. He also makes our intro music. Let's not, I mean. That's 100% correct. Yeah, let's do big it. Up, let me, let's, let's big up Big ups to Dre. Let's the brother his Dre flowers ADST right here. Music. And he uh, gave us giving us intro. some great shots out on Instagram, And too. they're also drinking out of our trademark uh, Bring the Whiskey Glen Clarence. Hey. Tasting the nose and glass. Coming soon. Cop the merch. As a matter of fact, I'm not even gonna hold it up. You know why? We got a guy that's gonna put that up on the screen for you. Yeah. Boom. Out there in them. So, Maker's Mark. Gang gang. Maker's Mark is a weeded bourbon, which mm-hmm. when it came out was rare. Kelvin, much to, I know, you know, your your heart. What that bottle look like to you? What kind of bottle that looks like? Looks like a Hennessy bottle. It looks like a Hennessy bottle. Oh, shocking. Yeah. That is because that smoothness. Uh, Mrs. Samuels, who actually came up with the red wax as a marketing tool, also came up with the bottle because she had a collection of old cognac in her home. That she loves, so that's why that bottle looks like an old cognac. Did she bottle. always used to get drunk and fight everybody too? Because that's what Hennessy do to you. And what she do? Right what, what she do? What they do Samuel after they fight? Thing. Huh? What they do after they fight? Making love <laughs> in the bushes, <laughs> bushes with no tops and pants. So, on. so tell me why wouldn't you want to drink something that has you fighting and then making love? Tell me why or not. And when you do that walk of shame, you take the thorns <laughs> up out your butt cheeks. All right, so. That's a real story. <laughs> I, I, relationship to Hennessy, I'm liking it already. Okay. The, the red bottle, again, I've been all over our Instagram, other, other bourbon people's Instagrams. Uh, um, they shed, had a special on the red bottle. They showed the whole process of them oh, rub, yeah. rubbing it in there. You know yeah, what? Says. What is this, rubber? Or what is it? Wax. Wax. Red <laughs> wax. <laughs> Originally. <laughs> what is that, rubber? <laughs> 
originally, Miss Samuels did it in her chicken fryer. Oh. And so she melted the wax and dipped the bottles in her chicken oh, fryer. Oh, you know we love it. So, so, so the legend is her fried chicken never tasted the same, but the whiskey was good. Oh, that line for that fried chicken was out <laughs> They'd be like, door. uh, excuse me, ma'am, uh, this tastes like candles. <laughs> why, why am I eating chicken and singing happy birthday at the same time? Did y'all remember that KFC candle that smelled like chicken? Uh, I remember the log that they the had. The log, it was the log that smelled like chicken. And they like also had Crocs. And they, had they had Crocs. Crocs. Yeah. My God, Crocs. You tell me Maker's Mark is related to Hennessy. No, no, no. put it down. Put it Just down. It has a cognac Stop bottle. It. Cognac Stop bottle. The, 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 the seal was made from fried chicken. <laughs> so you telling me this is the winner already? See that? Do we you see? need to taste the rest of the stuff? <laughs> see, there's a difference between being a newbie and just got <laughs> dumb. That boy said chicken, got chicken top wax uh, and Hennessy oh, bottle. And Hennessy bottle. Come on, what else you need? Let me tell you something. Shout and you know out, what? Uh, this thing smells like Margaret Hennessy too. Samuels. <laughs> It smell like Hennessy. It tastes, to you. Uh, tastes good. I'm smelling all knows that stuff it. in there. So, so I know we know, we probably all know what this tastes like, but mm-hmm. take a minute. Tell me what you smell. Regret. Good times. This is opportunity. Yeah, it's good times. Like this, this is the chicken. future. Enthusiasm. I smell enthusiasm. You say enthusiasm. enthusiasm. Sweet and spicy is what I get. I and so that was one of the things. That's that's how this got made. Uh, mm-hmm. When... Um, when uh, Granddaddy Samuels was coming up with his recipe, he had yeah. a hundred and seventy year old family recipe that he was going to use. And calling act- the white man Granddaddy Samuels. Well, right? I don't, I can't remember his first name. I know the the, the current owner is Rob, but uh, I don't know. I do uh, that. Yeah. So, so Rob's grandfather. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, uh, he had a recipe, but yeah. he accidentally set it on fire. Oh. So oh. he had to go back and figure out a new recipe. That's when and the way yourself. he did that was he baked bread. A different kind of grain, okay. and he picked the one that smelled the best and tasted the best before he put all his money into trying to make whiskey. Out. Okay, so well, I, can, I, I can say this: that he accidentally said his his patented formula. It wasn't patented. Well, okay, but he, okay, so he, the, the heirloom old. formula, old. right? Yeah. He said that on fire. You might be right. This this might be Hennessy. I told you. This, I told you. <laughs> that is you. that is the shit people do on Hennessy. That hump a lot of people that you didn't know. Yep. Fight. Yep. Do a lot of bad things. Yep. Uh, fix a car when you don't have a car. Mm-hmm. That's called jacking. And yeah. smoke out at the end when you burn it And off. that's how you work. <laughs> and then be like, you know how I can fix this? I'm going to make all kinds of goddamn bread <laughs> with, <laughs> with some with some grains. I'm going to get granddad's recipe back. <laughs> but two things you said that caught the, the, the ear of the newbies, for me, at uh, 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 least. Well, um, Hennessy was it. Well, that. And also, Chicken. what's what's the significance about being made from the wheat? You said this is one of the first ones to be made from the wheat. Yeah, so it it is it it is not as harsh as um, bourbons that are made from rye. Okay, and the wheat is supposed to smooth it out a little bit. Oh, that that burning taste that you get in the end, right? Okay. That's giving okay. you that that kind of more. I'm gonna call it sweeter, but that more mellow taste gotcha. up front than with rye. And so that's another distinction between these that we're gonna talk about. And the reason I picked these is that mm-hmm. we're talking about a wheated bourbon mm-hmm. and then rye bourbon. So that's mm-hmm. one difference. Maker's Mark 46 is also is this that is just finished with a different method. Mm-hmm. And these two old foresters, they're the same as well, except for this one is a higher proof. So we're that's why I picked this selection for us. We're going to talk about what difference the ingredient makes mm-hmm. versus the higher proof. Okay. You know and what? the finishing technique. And one other thing. Uh, so I will say this is this is ahead. very delicious. Yep. Well, Actually, yeah. yeah. I, I, mean, I don't necessarily, I'm not a fan, but I am technically, I mean, it's, it's bringing me back. Yeah. And I'm gonna tell you why because we've had other episodes where we did Jack Daniels and we did Four Roses and that to me rot gut. This right here tastes like something. I don't care. I, Jack Daniels kiss my. Ass. So yeah, uh, don't you dare try to overbrush that. I don't no, no, no. about to do. We're gonna, sad, we're gonna do sad, Jack Daniels again because we I didn't publish not. that episode. Yeah. And so when we talk about bargain bourbons under thirty dollars, yes. which is gonna be our uh, maybe not our next one, but gonna be upcoming. Make his mark is in the mix as one of the best. We'll definitely have that on Instagram. So yeah. check out our Instagram. So so now tell me what you feel on the taste. What you taste on well, the While taste. I'm tasting, yeah. will you two guys tell me what, how do we properly nose a, a bourbon or a whiskey? How do we nose it? Like, get it into I the know y'all telling me the holes in it. your face, that's not your mouth. Yeah, we just put out, that's, that's all it is, just put our nose to it. Yeah. Yep. You that gotta move smell. it, you gotta pull it back and forth. <laughs> what do you gotta do? I move it around to give it some agitation so that the alcohol can kind of go off and mm-hmm. I can get a real aroma of the liquid. So I do it completely different. I put my nose in the cup. In it. Take a good one and then breathe back out and then do it again. That's literally what I do. Mm. I, I don't know. I don't know if that does anything, but to me, it it, it helps kind of. You get it. Yeah. You clear it. 
And you get it there. And the purpose is you trying so to get that distinction. You trying to get that that distinction. See what's in there? Smells, yeah. Yeah. yeah, so you can yeah. separate that the smell individual out. ingredients. Now, does this does the smell influence what you taste? Don't know. Hmm? Does the smell influence what you taste? One hundred percent. Yeah, Damo, I think did that uh, well one time. He I'm articulated that with uh, you know which, which, smell which versus taste equals yeah. flavor. So those things, two things combined. Um, give you your full flavor profile from it. And I think that's important because, like I said, as a newbie, you want to know, you want to look and feel like you know what you're doing. So you want to mm-hmm. know what you're tasting, know what you're smelling, so you can appreciate but the so different flavors. I'll show you something on the second one, just as a different op- a different uh, method of tasting. So you, uh, we'll, we'll get there in a second. Gotcha. Okay, so we so start what do you off, taste? We start off pretty good. Okay, what do you taste? I can't really, I can't really get anything individual. I mean, it. I got a little spice. It's got a yeah. It's got a it's got a rye spicy finish, mm-hmm. and I'm not a rye fan. Yeah, and this isn't rye rye bourbon. I know, but yeah. it's got that. Fi- that's why I think that's why I don't necessarily like makers. I like Maker 46 because it comes off with a like a sour, spicy rye feel to it, and I don't so, I don't like it. So I this one of the reasons why I like makers is that to me it is the ultimate utility player. I can sit makers neat. I can sip it on the rocks, but it's not so expensive that I don't mind mixing it with Coke or cranberry juice if I'm if I'm be drinking a, you know for a while, and it all actually mixes with all those things very well. Some things like Jack and Coke is a classic combination, but other things in Coke don't, don't go well. well. Other bourbons and whiskey in mm-hmm. Coke don't go well. Makers to me is a, a, a home run ingredient for anything you're trying to do. Whether it's neat cocktail, whatever. That's just my opinion. And just like, in a liquor store like, experience. It, it just looks like it's one step above Jack Daniels and Jim Beam. It, 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 Maybe it's not, but it, it just looks like it. You know, you walk in the liquor just store. Just an extra just, step. Yeah, you see that Mike's Mark. You're thinking that's at least yeah. one step above. So and that's even why it's called a maker. He was looking for what's my maker's mark. And it, it was just yeah. red. Just, okay. just red. So, and this is all done by hand, by the way. Gotcha. Whether you're the accountant, the CFO, the production guy, the delivery man, when it's your time to dip bottles, you get called to the floor and you dip bottles. So no two bottles are the same. No two bottles. They should not same. be. Yep. I'm not. sorry. I feel like I was cutting. Oh no, you didn't cut me off. I was just saying that that is the telltale sign of Maker's Mark. Like yeah. if you see once you see that red top, yeah. that's that's and they are legally the only ones that can put red wax on their liquor bottle. Legally. They won that battle. They won Message and that bottle in court. All right. So we're gonna go until on to the next one. Can I can I quickly interject? And just give a bit of news. I was going three, two, one, count it down to the next one. Well, I got it. I got you. Okay. But I was going to do it in between. Do you want the in between to be on film? Yeah. All right. Well, then I'm Because we were talking about about red tops. Yeah. Okay. Who else do we know with a red top? The so called president of the United States has a red top. Has a orange Mm -hmm. top. Yeah, who gives a The point is, he got COVID. (laughs) Him and his man faced robot wife got COVID. Right? It's a true statement. He was like, don't wear masks. Masks are stupid. (laughs) I got it. They got me. <laughs> they got me, Earl. I think it's a lot of mystery around too, because we really don't know what's going on with his health. We don't know where he is, what state he's in, so we don't know when he got it. So it's a lot of stuff going on. With oh, uh, he probably got it in one of those open face rallies. Yeah. I, yeah. Well, I personally yeah. feel like he had a little bit longer than we're than we were being let on, but you know. I'm just saying. Her, how long did it take Herman to, to kick the cane? Herman Kane. Unfortunately, yeah. it don't took him quite short. Well, he's time. still tweeting though. Well, from, from, <laughs> that's true. From the great beyond. Yeah. I got. I got to tell you though. It's a sad uh, situation all the way around. Hashtag woo. I don't even. You know, I see situation. all. I see all the people. I see all the people who have basically said they can't stay in this dude. Recently, say, oh yeah, we we wish him well in his recovery. Well, you got to say that. With all, I know you. That's because all these these Bible thumpers. They that you got to say. With that. all the swirl this dude has created, I have no idea what to believe when it comes to this cat. So I have. I, I'm not gonna feel one way or the other about it. I'm indifferent. At this oh, point. I posted on Facebook that uh, I'll believe he's got COVID when I see him on a ventilator. That, Outside that, of that, it's all distractions and that's lies. Something, that's something and he's got, he's got a man face robot wife. <laughs> How does a man face robot wife? You ever see uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger get cold in Terminator? The man showed up <laughs> naked. Did he shiver once? Well, no. Mel- Melania has a lot of fans, though. Yeah. Man face robots. They the ones that are stealing all the sneakers off the of sneakers. App. They're called bots. <laughs> you can't buy nothing because of the guy <laughs> bots. They man face robots. <laughs> If right. Somebody's married to him. Yeah, uh, you see how this bitch hate Christmas. Yeah, I heard. She that. was like Christmas, destroy Christmas. <laughs> oh, okay, man wow. face robot porn star. Wow. And you know how you know how it wasn't like weird science where they made Kelly LeBrock. I do remember that itty bitty titty committee. She just got Nips Bush. All right, nothing else to see. So the next one we're gonna we're gonna uh, sample here is 
Make it Mark 46. If we cut it, I kill you. Also, oh no, we're not gonna cut that out. We'll, we'll cut out the transition. We'll 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 do a quick fade, quick switch. Yeah. So anyway, um, so Make It Mark 46, the same product that's mm-hmm. in Makers. Then they take those barrels and they um, put uh, toasted French oak staves in them. The stave is basically just a piece of wood. They put in, and then they age it for another nine weeks. That is the only difference. So how do we, you know this? Like, how, how did they come up with that? Like, how do you be like, you know what? I'm doing that. You know what? You, you it's such a great transition. They tried it. <laughs> how do you they know? They tried this? it 45 times before they got the oh, this was like, one. And this is 46. Wow. This wow. is why it's called Make hey, 46. Wow. So, as a comedian, that's called a setup. Him and Bo gave him the punchline. You threw him a soft line. That's what I do. Right Segways are amazing, buddy. I did you do that on purpose, though? Yes, I did. I get no credit. I don't even know why I'm on this podcast. This is dumb. <laughs> dumb. I quit. This will be the last time y'all see Damo. Well, no, next week will be the last time you see Damo because I'm trying. What after next that? week will be that? phenomenal. Shorty, shorty, after that. Oh, little Doval. Oh. Are you, my my pick would be Mike Epps. Can't afford Mike Epps. <laughs> little Duval's head won't fit right here. Dame has the perfect size head to fit here in this corner. And then, uh, and I don't know who Shorty F Shorty is, so. All right, so make us 46. Put it on your nose. Y'all, you smell. Man. Tell me what you smell. B passes out to the, the studio artist. You get a sip. You get a sip. You get a sip. Look at him. Oh, fake ass Oprah. Mm-hmm. Oprah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I get that one. Yeah, I like hey. that one. <laughs> I like that one. Uh, that's that's cool. the funniest thing you ever said. That's cozy. Cool, Did you see how hard they hit those glasses? Did not crack. Hey. The merchandise right Link here. Clean glasses. <laughs> <laughs> High quality. The merch. High the merch. quality. As a matter of fact, only use these <laughs> on New Year's Eve. Ting them with your friends. Take a sip and say, "Old Lang Syne." Can you say, "Can you do Old Lang Syne in the fall on day?" Yeah, I see. I see. Should old acquaintance, I see. I see. Be forgot that boy right there in the middle. So I see. Old Lang Syne. I see. I see. I don't know why that's so funny to me. Cause he's a racist chicken. <laughs> I see. I see. He didn't cook me. You saw he got all the dark meat. I say, I the say, dark meat. yeah, drums and thighs. <laughs> Did you smell it, Kelvin? And ran off with a bottle of Hennessy. And f- all the chickens <laughs> in the coop. <laughs> ran all the pickles through the coop. <laughs> I ran my pickle through the coop outside. These ain't my eggs. <laughs> see, you see, you see, like y'all I'm think sorry. you y'all think you're good. I'm sorry. Y'all think you're good. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What you smell, Kelvin? I smell, um, I'm Antiba. You got, got that uh, a slight bit of spicy smell, like a cinnamon or something like that. What's the difference between this one and that one? Smell a different? I do actually. It smells calmer. Like that one smells like a ruckus. This smells like, like this smells like uh, the guy, the fight, the guy watching the fight. Oh well, it does no. have a. Uh, this smells like refined. daycare when they first get there. Ah, this smells like nap time. Calmer. So this, more balanced, this is, on yeah. balance. and this is actually it smell like supposed just, to be the spicier side of Maker. So let's go ahead and taste it. I definitely it smell see. a little bit of spice ooh, still ooh, in ooh, it. Ooh, still on the palate. I like it. Sweeter, sweeter on the front and the back. Actually, it's definitely more complex right at the front. Sweet, it's sweet on the front and the back. It that, just doesn't give me bourbon. It gives me some more caramel, some more bread than the mm-hmm. original Maker. Me. Uh, this gives me way more caramel. It gives me yeah, it gives me caramel up front, and then on the back end, it's like happy ending. Like the massage was great, but guess what? I got to do at the end. I can get that little wheat, more of that little wheat flavor, like you said. This was uh, this was uh, made from the wheat, right? Get that a little bit more. It's made from the wheat, Kelvin. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hand me that bottle, please. <laughs> hand me that bottle, please. Thank you. And I like that bottle because it's less henny. Like, they actually gave shit about that one. Now, you know Hennessy makes a bottle looks like that also. Right? Shut up, man. BSOP. <laughs> uh, do they? I think they yeah, do. Yeah, they got, they got more than five I think he's correct. <laughs> <laughs> and I hate him for being right. I think he's correct. <laughs> well, uh, you know what they don't got? These two. Can we get there? Yeah. We, <laughs> can we get, can we get OG. there? OG. OG Maker's Mark. Yeah. I'm liking it. And so all of the Maker's Mark, I have the whole line right now in my academy. And all of them. Low key flex. Mm-hmm. Not low key flex. It's just, hey, just makers. Like, yeah, yeah, I never show uh, black. It's my all in the, in the vein of this bottle. This okay. is the only bottle that's different. So, so how many different uh, lines are we messing with when makers? When we talk about makers, Martin? Is it just the original forty six, or they got the in betweens? So they got original forty six. They have cash strength, 
Then they have bottles at 101 proof. Mm. And then they have specialty bottles uh, that local restaurants or liquor stores can go down and fly down to Kentucky. You can pick out your ingredients that you want it to be finished with. Mm. And then you can kind of create your own flavor profile. They typically sell those in stores for about 65 bucks. Yes. Uh, but the whole barrel of those bottles, about 250 bottles, is about 13 grand. So they're going to sell it for a profit, right? Uh, 1,000. They're going to mark that up 15. Yeah, because I think that works out to be something 40 something a bottle, and then you mm-hmm. market it to 64. But 46. that's the one thing that we didn't mention was I paid uh, $22, $22 for that bottle. And local, and just paid, a local uh, liquor store, not a national local, chain, or yeah. you didn't order from online or no, anything? No, local okay. liquor store. Same thing with this one. I paid, I believe, 31 I was about to say 31 local, local yeah, they always they, they definitely hit a price point. They have an audience. So, they have a distinction. So. So, so let me ask you a question. So this does taste like caramel, maple. I get all that, right? Mm-hmm. Which brings me to what my mind thought of: pancakes or waffles. Which one do you? <laughs> which one do you prefer? Like a syrup? You can get a syrup. Yeah, I mean, oh, it, maple. Like pancakes yeah. Which one would you prefer? Pancakes, pancakes or waffles? Pancakes all day. Pancakes all day. Pancakes all day. Unless pancakes the waffle all day. is in Los Angeles and has chicken, you can fried chicken on. Okay, okay, so okay, so again, another Roscoe chicken. I'm sorry. Also, we went to the griddle, and those pancakes were phenomenal. The griddle pancakes and they had cornflakes. Hey, cornflakes! You gotta not eat for a day and before were, you go there. Were you there when I saw the panga, or was that another time? I might have gone because I gone before you, and then I took you. I don't think I one saw time Topanga. I saw Topanga, and I would like to say uh, world travels. I'm sitting next to world thick. travels over here. I'm talking like thick cut bacon thick, Topanga, bro. And if you don't know Topanga, Boy Meets World had a gang of hair. When she grew oh, up, I thought, I thought that was one of the girls on Flavor of Love. Ain't no, that sir. What, Topanga on Flavor of Love? Oh, dear God, no. Stop <laughs> it. See, this how you, this, see, this is a, that's a Hennessy, that's a Hennessy reference right Did there. Did she make it to uh, episode three or something like that? Topanga? <laughs> she got kicked off. She got, she got kicked off for of hoops. I think she's the one that pooped on the floor. That was the one they got out of there. That was Topanga, I think. Uh, that's called Poopanga. <laughs> that was old Poopanga. Well, back to your waffles thing. I do like Ego waffles. Okay, so that's so I mean, a completely back, different. Back to waffles, all right? right. Um, waffles. So can yeah. I say? Can I can I give a quick bit? Of, can I give a a, a, a shoe a shoe bourbon brain? Always, right? Did you know that uh, the the owners and creators of Nike, right? In order to get a good grip, you should take rubber and put it in a waffle press in order to get the ridges, mm-hmm. and that's how the first Nike came. Of, about. You talking about the mold of the bottom yep. of the shoe? Yeah, I knew that. And then they used to uh, sell them in, out of their trunk at track meets in Oregon. Didn't know that part. Hmm. Interesting. So right. that's why Shots they came out, out with so, so recently they came out with the uh the Nike waffles. As a throwback? Yeah. It's a shoe. And they, they were off white, which is uh, a dude named Virgil o- Obada yes. or whatever they very, very creative. And guy. those shoes are very sought after, and I just thought I'd throw that out there. Yeah, yeah those off white so, anything uh, he does. Bring, the bring the sneakers podcast doesn't exist, but maybe it should. Don't right. want you to be great out here. And I didn't mean to say the N-word, but that's how you, sometimes you just gotta let it go. They so, don't want you to be great out here. Well, so this next one. <laughs> <laughs> that we uh, that we have I hate is this Old Forester. Old Forester, nineteen ten. You're the man now, dog. Is that Finding Forester? Finding Forester. Yeah, yeah. Was that your shot, Tommy? Yes. I don't know. Uh, I did a, in, an ode Tommy. to your beard. Yeah, I don't have it. Well, I shaved it. Ah, you still look like it. Down. Hey, I don't think I remember Sean Connery from his League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. That's the only. Wow. I got the urge to push you out of the chair. I want him out of it. I don't even want him here anymore. And just roll. He was 007 on, like, too, right? Can we replace him with Shoddy Shoddy? Yeah. He, wasn't he 007 too? Can we yes. replace him with Shoddy Shoddy? He was 007. Okay. But that's okay. not what you Sean said, Connery? though. Yeah, I mean, he's a great the actor. I know. Extraordinary I said the only time I can remember him movie. from. That's what sticks out to right. me. Right. That's what sticks out to me. Oh, now we friends? Y'all were always going to Y'all were always gonna go back together. You know that. Well, there's an age gap, but call the police. I'm about to be carrying. League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. Good movie. Hello, Swords. there's a black. If you, if you know more League of Extraordinary like Gentlemen Sean quotes, Connery from a League of Extraordinary or if you like Finding Forrester better, please put that in the comments. Which one you vote? Did you say did you like Finding Forrester or, or League, League of League? Extraordinary Gentlemen? I hope the Which I one? hope the comments can Which literally one? punch you in the face. <laughs> <laughs> I can take it. I'm a big boy. All right, man. So old Forrester, old Forrester. There is some debate about this, mm. and some of the debate is with the Megas Martin salary. Is the longest running distillery in the United States. It ran all the way through Chocolate Bay. Pro, uh, uh, Prohibition. Uh, it never shut down. In 1941, after uh, the attack on Pearl Harbor, this was America's first distillery. You know how they're doing it right now with COVID, switching to alcohol? They switched to alcohol, rubbing alcohol, and uh, oh, they, they did medicinal purposes. Right, to produce for medicinal purposes. Yeah. So they have been, they have because a long. They, got it. they just throwing it away. They have a long story history. It looks like a medicine bottle. In America. 
The other thing that is significant about there in terms of changing the game, red winter wheat, wax on the bottle, change the game. Dark chocolate, Damo, they actually change your life. They actually were the first company to bottle whiskey. Before you would go into a saloon somewhere, there'd be a barrel behind you with a brand on it, which is where you know brands, cows, barrels came, where the term branding came from. Like mm-hmm. this guy right here. I would pick it up, but I yeah. want to. So Old Forster was the first company to say, basically, I don't trust what's going on with these bartenders. They might be cutting off stuff with water from algaehyde, something else. So I'm going to put it in a bottle. I'm going to seal it, and I'm going to sign my name to it so you know exactly what's in this bottle. It's going to be quality. So you know what they used to do in Cowboy movies bottle with that? whiskey. Hmm? You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Give, me the, give me the whiskey, and then they pull the cork out with their teeth. I do remember that. Like that. Now, I do remember that. I do remember yeah. that. I'm, now, I'm a big Western guy. I want to do that right now. Well, real now, quick, White Point, what's your favorite Western? What'd you say, white porn? Western. While he's pouring, is Django, what is your favorite is Western? Is Django a Western? Because it's Django. Uh, Django. Django. My favorite Western? My favorite movie. Tombstone. No, your favorite Western. Tombstone. Oh, okay. wait a minute. Tombstone. 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 No country from old, for old men. Lame. That's a Western. It's not really a Western. It's a modern day Western. There's no such animal. Modern day. You I know mean, what a modern day Western is? Oh, no the country for old men. No country for old men. The Mandalorian. 1980s set in 1980s. Hey, it's perfect Which brings you back? You talking about a modern Western? Yeah. Going back to Blanton's? Go ahead. Justified. It was a modern day television show that was a Western, essentially a Western. Never heard of it. Man, if you don't. Dude. <laughs> oh, Kelvin. <laughs> oh, Kelvin. Never. Our studio artists, raise your hand if you've heard of Justified. Want a good railing? Come on, man. Uh, and boy, Crowder. Bro. Come on, son. Classic. <laughs> Classic television. <laughs> you didn't share Blanton's with me until we was on this podcast so then you should be voting i bought me. another bottle too i'm also not gonna share that one with you but i bought a i found a one with the man uh oh, that did it that did it right there i'm just messing with you that did it we're gonna share it right after this episode i saw a couple oh, people on instagram we're gonna share it right after this episode. can we have can we have an episode not next week but the week after next where we bring our own like our like i would not we know my Private favorite fashion. one is 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 eagle, eagle river. river but there's an eagle, eagle river. river don't oh, don't okay. disrespect don't disrespect <laughs> that's like calling my mama betty and her name is not betty <laughs> But I'm saying we bring, we we go, we go, we bring a... Uh, what is your mom? It's, it's frowned upon in society right now. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's why I asked you. Because of these white women that keep calling Shout the Shout out. We love you. Go ahead. You know what I don't like? <laughs> the fact that you put my mama's name out in the street. All out right? there. All out there. It's funny. Is that my... <laughs> I done lost you're, myself. You're a comedian. Everything's funny. <laughs> Yeah, that's how it works. Jerry Seinfeld told me on comedians and cars getting coffee. Everything's fine. What? Yeah. So, so everything's fair game then. What were you about to say? I'm sorry, I, t- I got you off topic. I don't care. All right, so I just don't. But care. tell me why you like Tombstone's your favorite. Off the Western. top, uh, probably the best portrayal of Doc Holiday I've ever seen in my life, oh, and of wild of, of wider. I'm your and they've also played other. They've had other wider movies. Which suck. Tombstone is probably the dopest one Tombstone of all time. Is, the, is, is, the it histor- is it historically accurate? Yes, I've how, been how to Tombstone. Know, I've been to but Tombstone. How do we know? When nobody's it alive. Nobody's accurate. alive. The new Doc Bruh, Holiday. I have been. It to, is the number one. I'm telling you, I have been to accurate. the city, the town of Tombstone. <laughs> I have. And they are. That is the only movie that they recognize. Right outside of Sierra Vista, as, Arizona, right? I, I, I was yes, there too. Sierra. A Sonoma, actually. Yeah, I was, did in, they the, have I was the, in the military. They have the pizza there. He's a smart motherfucker, but sometimes he's the <laughs> dumbest <laughs> motherfucker in the room. Had a pizza there? I don't know. This bottle, this bottle it looks like the era that it comes from. 1910, so exactly. I, would, I would definitely so get it. So the first thing that strikes me Red is Baron is better. It strikes me is the color. The color is dark. Like, dark. I like my women. Yeah, it is dark. It is nice. Mm. And it's dark. It looks the same color in the bottle, but once Ooh. you pour it, sweet like I like dark. my women, too. What you smell? They've been out there. You, you know what no, I smell? They've been out never see you with no Becky. Huh? Oh, they might. <laughs> They might. I'm like, I'm like William Shatner. Let me Take get the that. blue one, the green well, one, all, all of them. them. I'm yeah, like, I'm like the, the, the United Colors of Benetton for real, for real. If you if you cute, I'm a scoop. So this uh this gives me. If you sweet, I'm a. Sc- <laughs> Speaking of sweet, if you got booty, <laughs> it, I'm gonna ask it. you to do me. <laughs> I tried America. <laughs> Now, I'm trying to get us back, back to you, America. Bur- back to you, Bourbon. All I wanted to say was, <laughs> for an old style bottle yes. that you might find in a Western. That, let me get that old Forrester bottle. Dusty friend. with some uh, yes, tumbleweed going past, so we can it give it. It smells to sweet. It's too for a rye bourbon. I get sweet. I do get spice. I get grain. I this this one just gives me the whole sort of uh, 
whirlwind of whiskey. Okay, so I guess my nose is like uh, predisposed to sweet, right? You can pick up on it. Yeah, yeah. So that's the, I normally get. I, I normally get all the caramel, all the fruit. I get all of that stuff. Mm-hmm. But I don't get the. I do get the grain on the back end. I, I take that back because I didn't. I normally didn't get it, but it does. It does smell. Do, you, do your technique. Oh, I wanted to do the technique that I was going to show you. Didn't show you? me. Show all right, me. so let's do this one real well, quick. I one, one quick but it does smell bready. I think we end. should give our studio audience drinks before we start filming. We need these guys. Yeah, you get the caramel. Yeah. You get the. Yeah, we you get, get them drinking early. Yeah, you get the before. Fruit. But then, but then, so if you, studio audience, hold on. Before you sit, we're going to do this new technique. It might not work for you, but just just try it. So here we go. This this is uh, this is kind of an altered version of what they call the Kentucky Chew. Oh. So what you're going to do is you're going to take a deep breath mm-hmm. and you in through your nose and you're okay. going to blow it out. Oh, that's how you take shots around here. You're not going to eat inhale after that. Then you're going to sip, hold the whiskey right in the front of your mouth, and go just splash it around like you So kind of hold, hold, your, hold your breath. Do that part again? Right. What's that okay. part? Right. Like you gargling Listerine, but don't switch it all around your mouth. Keep it in the front of your mouth. Front of your mouth. And then hold as on. you breathe out, go ahead and swallow your whiskey. Show me, show me how to do it. No, I'm not going to do it anymore. Ready? Here we go. Ready? Breathe in. <sighs> out. Bam. Swallow. Drunk. Drunk immediately. You do taste more flavor. Puts it all over your mouth, right? You got it on your gums, the side of your tongue, I front don't... of your tongue, all over your pep. Yeah. Yeah. Can I can I say yeah. pause? Up immediately. I'm <laughs> up right Can I say pause? Can they get anything done in Kentucky drinking this shit like this? <laughs> a lot of people, a lot of at the distillery, they, they drink and then spit it in the cup. And they do anything in Kentucky. I mean, is there roads? Hey, do they make a drink that... out of that spit cup? It, now tell me, if, well. would you get on a plane in Kentucky when you know they drink shit like this? <laughs> I'm not getting on a plane. I'm not getting on a train. Hey, I don't even no, want to drive through no, the motherfucker because they drinking like this. Look, the, stu- the students is on a plane in Kentucky yeah. like, okay, so now we're going to taste planting. <laughs> if you can all just breathe in, take a breath out. Okay, what we need you to do now, sweetie, is swish it swish around it. the front of your mouth. Yes, yes, swish it. And then breathe in again. Take a swallow, <laughs> blow it out. Okay, darling, do you taste the prickness? <laughs> do you taste the sweetness? Don't worry about that seatbelt. You don't need it. <laughs> right, right, right. That mask, that is a falsehood. <laughs> we will be giving Kentucky hot browns on the flight. Hot browns are delicious. All flight long. Now, what is a Kentucky so hot brown? It's a sandwich that they is traditional to the Kentucky. Oh, that's something totally different in mind when he no. said. Oh, you talking about keep getting it a moving. Dump on your Let's chest? Keep it moving. <laughs> you gonna get a dump on your chest? <laughs> this guy. That's a. Oh, that, that's a what Hennessy. Talk? That's a Hennessy sip. <laughs> okay. They call that the old Hennessy We're sip. We're gonna be giving our Kentucky look hot say, browns say, on the flight. Look, look, where that music at? Where that music at? Where the, it's a turkey sandwich. Where's that? Where's that horror music? Where's that horror music at? That that. So the the. What's that, hot you know what I'm, I'm not gonna go. I'm not. We're not going any further into that. Okay. What do you taste? What do you taste? Well, you're not gonna talk to me about taste after we got finished talking about the well, Kentucky hot brown. I, I think if I was uh, on my low end, I want to get drunk. I would drink this, but I don't like it. He don't never like nothing. So that is my point. This bottle is probably over forty dollars. I bet both fifty six each. I knew it. Okay, so this is what I figured out about Kelvin. Go ahead. If it's over forty. His taste buds are dead to it. I like Blanton's. I wonder, is it though? I wonder, Shut is your it rock mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Did you like Eagle Rare? I love Eagle Rare. All right, so I was about to say, I wonder, I is it because your palate is overwhelmed by the time we get to the fourth one? But I'm drunk by the time I get to the fourth one. That's <laughs> that's the problem, but I don't like it. So even though if I am drunk, I still don't like yeah, it. I like it. I feel like he's coming. Yeah. I like a dark yeah. full body and everything. Bourbon, women, car. Tell you, they've been, they been, I never catch you with no Becky. Hey, buddy, I tell that's you. What, black United Twitter is a real Black Twitter is a real thing. Of ben- hey, you catch me, Black Twitter. <laughs> I, I do think we might afford Hashtag a little United too much Colors of Benetton. And Benetton, if you want to make a comeback, I'm your boy. I'm your boy. I'll, yeah. That, Holla at your boy, boy. Do it. But yeah, I do see the um, the bottle. Back to the bottle. Uh, it does resemble that era. Um, gets that prohibition feel to it. Yeah, everything about this is Biff yeah. Shot Marty. You ain't finished. Uh, Come on, catch up. Come on, catch up. I'm Come trying. On now. I'm trying. This is a newbie. I'm newbie yeah. here. So let hey, me look. See. Every time I used to, I used to work. So I'm, at I'm a, holding my breath when I drank this old shot. I, I used to work at a uh, breathe out. To, work at breathe a breathe out. Shot. Okay. I mean, breathe in. Take the shot. Breathe out while you do it. Drink. Then breathe out. Swallow. Breathe out. Yes. I used to work at a vending company, and uh, when I was new, and I was like trying to lift all these things up with snacks and stuff. Mm-hmm. Dude, that uh, 
the dude that used to train me, yeah, he used to call me puss a lot. He was like, hey, come on, puss. Like, he like like trying to get me to do it. And I was like, oh, okay, you call me puss one more time, we're going to have a problem. And he ran in. I was like, oh, I left the boxes. I left this on purpose. Mm-hmm. Left the boxes. And he was like, come on, puss. And then he ran in there and do it. And I pulled the truck off and went to the next spot and filled up stuff. And I came back. He was so mad holding boxes. He was like, I like, keep calling me puss. Oh, puss. puss. I'm sorry. What just happened? What was that story about? Puss. Was it about the term puss? Mm-hmm. Did you did you say puss? I was calling Kelvin puss. Oh. Puss. All right. Well, you know you know why you. I thank God you don't come to my my comedy show. I come to your comedy show. You are Debbie Downer, my guy. I, mean, like, I, I was asking someone, how we got to that story. It's a great. It's a great. Who does that in a story? If 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 Jerry Seinfeld is telling a story and they're like, but what does it mean? This is what this before is you get to the before you get to the punchline. Right. I'm taking you right. there because jokes are so much better when they have to be explained. This podcast. <laughs> well, all I was saying. Can say I have is, a ticker? I've or never, how many times? I've, I've never been invited. I've never been invited to any of his comedy shows. His comedy shows are always he's always in look the past middle me. nowhere. I like. It. He, I, would I would love it if he do something local. I'm from the I middle of nowhere because I don't. No, I don't from the middle of nowhere. So we gotta drive there. We gotta drive there. Where? Where's Magoobies? Where's Magoobies? Timonium. Yeah, Magoobie's Joke House. Shout out to them. That's my home club. It's on Baltimore. Comedy show starts in North, South, Baltimore. It's like almost a past Baltimore. It's North. Yeah. North of Baltimore. Yeah. Still, and then we got still in Maryland? It's still in Maryland. Oh, it's in Maryland. Oh. And Magoobies is a nice spot. But it's just It's far. a great spot. It's far I love from them. here. Yeah. You know what you do? This is what I do. Oh, I didn't. Have you ever been with me to the uh, Beer Bourbon and Barbecue Fest in Timonium? Mm. I normally go right from there and I walk into the show because <laughs> your boy is kind of a big deal. I walk into a show <laughs> and we we watch a show and uh, drink some more. The next one we're going to try <laughs> is Old Forester again. Gotcha. Uh, 115 proof though this time. Yep. Uh oh, give it to me. So we give it to are me, now 22 more proof. And we're moving up a decade. Same whiskey. 1910 to 1920. Yeah, th- though, that's just branding. But this is what they consider prohibition style. This is what they would have served <laughs> okay. in the speakeasy yeah. during the pro- during prohibition. From, from 1910 to 1920, we went from colored to Negro. Get that word out of there. <laughs> that's the difference. Also, we weren't to the rebirth of the Klan <laughs> during the 1920s. Oh, wow. So. Wow. Hey, yeah, so yeah. I guess every. every Every uh, centennial, we get a new rebirth. Of the rebirth, yes. 1920 to yes. 2020, we sure got rebirth. that Rebirth. Stand by and stand ready or whatever that mother Ooh, said. That was a saying, wasn't it? 100%. I'll add another one, too. Hey, this is what you get a speakeasy. Speakeasy, but go, but go hard. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Cut that out. <laughs> Crickets. 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 Get with a button. Speakeasy, Crickets. go hard. You don't like that? For whiskey, for whiskey bottle. I don't want you to do anything. Be easy, go hard. There you go. <laughs> D, you was on my side for a while, man. Uh, you thought he was your man. You didn't get it. You thought he was your man. All right. You thought he was your man. Go ahead, pour D some more because apparently he needs some juice. So prohibition. Uh, I will say this about prohibition. Maryland is one of the few states that was like, nah. F- oh, that's why Maryland's called the free state. Yeah, yeah. That, yeah. Maryland was like, f- that shit. we do what I think. Yeah, Maryland, Maryland. The reason the moniker is the free state. There's two monikers, the old line and the free state. Mm-hmm. But the free state is all people think it's because we liberal. No, nope. it's not. It's because it everything to do with prohibition. Maryland was like, we we'd drink. rather be a free state. Mind you, we didn't already fought for the revolution, for slavery and all that. We're going to secede over this yeah, alcohol. Over the alcohol. We want to drink it. Man. You will not. You Maryland, may take away our dark skinned people, but you won't take away our dark. You liberal. will not do it. Not. Maryland's a great state, though. <laughs> Shouts out to Maryland. I, I've loved it ever since I've been here. Met a lot of good people. Met this man. Yeah, met that man. Met a, good, a lot of good people yeah. here in Maryland. So. So, do you know laws. why it's called the uh, Old Line State? Yeah. Because uh, the Mason Dixon it has something to do with Mason Dixon. All right. Do you know the, the, the. Tell me, and then I will give you Maryland trivia too, homeboy. Okay. So, Maryland is called the Old Line State because mm-hmm. they fought in. We fought in uh, the Revolutionary Wars mm-hmm. and we fought hard. Did and when we? we we started the next war, George Washington said, aggressively or penis? No, we 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 fought aggressively, hard. and it was the Maryland line, and it was our line because we Hold fought so line. good. Hold his line. When we came back for the next war, yeah, we still had the soldiers from the previous line, so they were mm. older. So what? And so George Washington said, "Bring me that old line." Fight this next what do you mean? Battle. You mean, and that's why Maryland became the okay. Old I was confused because you so you. I was confused. You said this is after a couple shots, so I'm yeah. So, but <laughs> it wasn't it wasn't a next war because I only remember George Washington being in one war. So you mean the next battle? The next battle. Gotcha. Bring okay. me the old line during the Revolutionary War. Yeah. All gotcha. That. Okay. <laughs> What's your American? Tri- your Maryland trip? 
I'm a Maryland guy through and through. If I don't know the answer to you, whatever your question is. What's the state sport of Maryland? Lacrosse. Nope. What was it before that, though? So it is lacrosse. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Just ho, 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 ho. See, what was it not, not, when, not since when you, when you learned it. You learned it recently. What was it when you learned it initially? Lacrosse. No, it was not. What is it? Jousting. I remember that. Okay. But it's lacrosse now, which was the correct answer to your question. But the point is, it, no, no, it's jousting and. The free states. Oh, what's, it, what's, Smell what's the Maryland State dog? Georgia. Oh, Chesapeake Bay Retriever. Georgia. I was going to. You wasn't going to say nothing because you was nosing a glass because you was big Barry White looking motherfucker. I won't say ghost what? dog. <laughs> well, I have a shout qu- out Forrest Whitaker. I have I'm a question for the uh, for the newbies. Huh? Please outline to us what I are the. This no more. I'm all right, you you've done this before. Both of you have done this before. I like to cancel please, out my phone. One can can't you, get can the you out of here. <laughs> please re outline out what are the essential ingredients of a bourbon so that we can kind of have a sense of what we should be smelling. Yeah, yeah, bourbon brain. What is it? Yeah. Mash, well, this mash, is, this is mash. Quite, this question for both of you because I mean, both Hawkeye, you know. radar, yes. mm-hmm. hot lips, hula hand. Yeah, mash, all that. So, so in a, what, what are you looking for in the bourbon? Yeah, because I there keep hearing y'all say caramel. I keep hearing you say uh, spice. So, so I'm going to answer your so, question. I'm going to so answer your question. I'm confused as to what I should be smelling. I'm going to answer your question a completely different way. Okay, go ahead. So what happens with bourbon and whiskey, bourbon has to be made a certain way. Yes. But what happens is it has to go into that new oak barrel. And what they mean by new <laughs> is that it was raw oak and then you uh, you set the basically the inside on fire. You scorch it. Mm. And then you add your we uh, didn't whiskey start to it, the fire right? to age, based on how long you scorch it, based on where that wood was grown, based on a whole variety of factors. Mm-hmm. What's going to be extracted from that oak is vanilla in, which is the, the primary flavor in vanilla. A whole bunch of different. You're gonna you're gonna get all these different flavors just from the oak. Whether okay, it's sweet, spice, yeah. grain. It's all going to come from that oak. Okay. So it really, that's uh, when we talked about like where a uh, barrel sits in a warehouse. Yeah. It matters because when it's super hot, you get more in- infusion from the barrel. And when it's cooler, you get turn. less right infusion. And that, and that can t- vary depending on where the barrel is. It can vary. So all so the is a process. So all out. It's yes. just a process. Death you audience. got a certain mash bill, this a certain distillate that has to go into a new something charred out. oak barrel. That's why Tennessee whiskey like Jack Daniels, Uncle Nearest, George Dickel, doesn't always qual- doesn't qualify as bourbon mm-hmm. because they interrupt the process by doing some uh, charcoal dumb. filter before it goes into a barrel. Oh, so it's just a process. Yeah, but all those different flavors are specific to the where the tree was, how it was raised, mm-hmm. how it was burned. Now, as I learn about these bourbons, I got I got a real respect, you know, respect for the process. So that's what I keep hearing over and over in our episodes: the process, process, process. So it really matters about yes. the process. Down to the nth degree, it does of what's going on with the- it does even to the point of proof, right? Because these are the same bourbons. Yeah, this just has less water in it. Mm. Right? The burden of but proof. they taste a lot different mm-hmm. because of that twenty three percent fluctuation. Let me say something. Which we haven't got to. Which we haven't got. Water changes will change. Not only will it change the flavor of a bourbon, yeah, but it would also change your skin. If you drink a lot of water, you will have smoother skin. 100%, 100% correct. Hydration. That's called hydration. Yeah. Okay. What you, water is, is, is a phenomenal substance. What do you think, what do you think about this alkaline water? What do you think about the alkaline? Have you had alkaline water? Yeah, I feel like it's not. It's, does, it, does it balance you? So acid you? in the body, yeah. right? Yeah. It changes your, uh, it changes your, your, your pH. Yeah. So just like the, the vagina has to be pH in order yeah. for it to not to be like yeasty and then funky magoo. Okay. Right? Yeah, it's go gotta ahead. be. Go ahead. You gotta. You, the body is the same way. It's the same. It's like a battery, bro. You I do feel balanced when I drink it. That's all I can. That's say. what I'm saying. Yeah, that's I, what it's I, about. I can only speak so, for how I feel. Balance is key in anything. P- in I think life. that's a problem. Water, a separate conversation. water, vagina. Can you uh, human body <laughs> taste gum? Can you taste that for me? Tell me what you taste. Don't try to. No, you're our, right. I'm a doctor. Our, lo- our local gynecologist he's, still be here. He's not. Yes, a I am. I am. Not a doctor. <laughs> if you need a checkup. <laughs> Oh, no way so I am a oh, oh, got, D, is is feeling, D is feeling this palate over here. Look I'm an OG GYN. Our sound is gonna be all fed up. Let me, I mean, look, <laughs> what are they, what are they gonna get, be hearing over there? So let me let me just say this. This is wildly different than this. So go ahead Woo. and taste it and tell me what you think. Okay. He trying to bring us back in. That's a bourbon brain dude. We can't just have fun. You know what I mean? I tell you what it smells like. Different, though. right? Very okay, much so, weird. Okay, so okay, so me. Can I tell you? Okay, so the first this one smelled like. Now you get like a, a milky caramel. This is like a, a milk caramel. Then it's like a dark caramel, mm-hmm. right? 
this is like this is like peanut chews, like dark caramel. Like okay. it, there's a because you know it's like a dark molasses caramel and molasses same thing, right? When you when you when you boil it down, it is. Not really. But it is. I can't tell. Can you tell me what your analogy is? You're getting around. You said peanut chips. It tastes darker than that one. It tastes darker more. Why you ain't just say that? (laughs) It ain't my fault, man. I'm just saying. I don't f with that. I don't f with you. Golly. Oh, man. We just went into some issues. You don't. I mean, is that. I feel like the side dude. I feel like when they get in an argument, one of them comes back on my side. (laughs) Shut up. We here for you. We here for you. Me and Kelvin here for DJ. He don't need nothing. We all we all here for you. Okay. I f- hate this podcast, man. So are we ready for our reviews of the birthday? Yes. Uh so yeah, let's get a review. Wine bottles. So we didn't love. talk much about this one, but let me tell you, it's sweeter. It does have more of a punch. Yeah. It's pu- I definitely it's feel pungent. sweeter. Yeah, it's it, pungent. It, it's yeah. a pungent, darker. Now this darker. one is this one's okay. I'm gonna tell yeah. you it's okay. Because so so just, uh, the only thing I want to say about that before we do our reviews is yeah. Yeah, the proof reduces sort of the burn, and it reduces when you when you have more water, it reduces the burn. Mm. It makes it more drinkable. However, it also reduces the flavor, right? Because this one is more sweet, mm-hmm. so you dilute the sweetness a little bit in this. So it's not always just a give and take of because How much I got alcohol content. Food, yeah, it's going to taste good. better. Or it's going to burn less. Yeah, because you, you hit my, do hit my face. Get rid of some of the the nuances and the different flavor profiles from the higher proof. So that's mm. all I want to say about that. Now that is a good point because like going again for a newbie, we just see. Higher proof, more alcohol content. It's supposed to be a stronger. Right. We associate higher proof with stronger. Yes. So that's that's a that's a misconception. Is what you're saying? It is. It it's it's um, <laughs> it's correct in a certain extent, but it is mm. a misconception in another. I heard I a little mean, chirpy so say how much is, a, how much did this cost? That's a great point, Kelvin. Both of these were fifty six, which is outside location. of your taste buds price range. Fifty six. So let's go through the let's go through our recommendations. Okay. Uh, delicious, so Kelvin, delicious. We're just gonna go yes and no. We're Ooh. running out of time. Yes. So I'm taking this to the cookout instead, instead. of Hennessy. Yeah. I'm taking this along with Hennessy. Yeah. I'm Cause, taking cause both of them the to the Affordable, cookout. So you can take both. Yeah. Okay. I'll take what both of them. Uh, taking that instead of Hennessy. Okay. Okay. Instead yeah. of the Hennessy. Okay. The forty six. So both instead of 46. what about these two? Those two I'm leaving at the bar. See. I'm not gonna. See? I'm not messing with them. Okay. See? What about you, Dan? The last one, though, I might. I might. Depend on the day. You but the 93, we're going we to move on. Because of the flavor. We're going to move on to 93. Yeah. What, I, what I think that? The, the, point you made, what? the point you made about the proof, though, is very insightful. I think, I think, I think everybody should That's listen gonna to that. That's going to be D. We need to break that piece out into just a small clip. Of Talk about what? proof. About proof. Same way we yes. do about bourbon. Yes. We need to break that all into a small clip. Now, Dan, yeah. what's your rating? You going to. I'm going to drink that at the bar. Okay. I'm gonna take that to the uh, to the cookout. Okay, this I bring around the fellas. I'm keeping that in the crib. My man, I, this is the first time you gave it cold here. I don't want no face bump yeah, from you. Fist, fist bump, bump, face bump, face bump with me. You punch me in the face. <laughs> <laughs> no, get out of here. Let us gently touch our fists. I can't get a fist. 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 We all want fists. Help, help me. Hugging to save the world. Help me. Hugging the. Ever a cry for help? Hug and save the world. I want out. I'm a hostage. There's a gun over here. All right. Help so, me. so the last Auntie. one, I'm gonna just run it down, man. Help me. 100. percent Again, you you know how I feel about these two. I'm taking these anywhere I go, and I'm I'm gonna say equally. Equally, I'm taking these either anywhere I go. You don't these, put you don't put this one step above. Above what? Above Maybe flavor wise, but he probably gonna flavor wise. Though. But you know, I'm a Maker's Mark fan. Like I, I mean, I don't want this is gonna sound weird, but I feel mm. like I grew up with Maker's, with Maker's Mark because I was never from the age of what? From, I, I mean, from college, I was never a, a Hennessy guy. Okay, and so I was always a whiskey guy. Yeah, but I never got to be like a whiskey whiskey yeah. guy until later in life. Well, let me but put that misconception. Let me let's guy. put a, that misconception to bed. Also, you don't have to be an and or. You don't. You can be both. You can be both. You can be yeah. both. I'm hey, not both. Hey, can right. we have a um? Can we have a a homecoming episode? Yeah, we can do that. That's in the chart. That's in the link. One of the other things that I was going to talk about here, though, is one of the other things that uh, Old Forrester pioneered was this idea of bottled and bond. So that's going to be another episode, too, which is a specific definition. We got a lot coming up. Y'all stay tuned. Stay tuned. Hit the alert button. Hit that that alert. Hit the subscribe button, and that will give you the alerts. And it's delicious. Okay. So I have a few, too. We'll put it together. This is what Old Forrester did. He wanted this. This is what he wanted. That's cowboy. <laughs> that bottle is ruined. <laughs> if I say no COVID, is that the same as saying no homo? No, it's not. 
<laughs> Look at Bourbon Brain. Look at he is disgusted with everything well, I just did. Good for you though. They have slots open at Walter Reed. Don't you dare! Don't you dare! Don't you dare! There's, there's, a, bed, say, there's a bed you open at Walter No, no, I'm not. Just, just go ahead and end it. No, no, end it. Yeah. Go ahead and end it. Y'all can end it. But you, we didn't say what you want. Five, no, no, I'm done. Four, I like three, these. I'm gonna keep them. Two, one. one. Hit the, he hit the guy. Button. Yeah, he disgusted. Look at majority. Sweetness, sweetness, sweetness. Pine trees. <laughs> And that's, and that's okay. Weird. That's okay. If you look on, <laughs> if you look on no, like a lot of uh, bourbon tasting cards and wheels and that type of thing, yeah. Sort of what you're describing, at least in my mind, is yeah. astringent, which is one of the flavors that people get out of bourbons yeah. a lot of times. I, do, I don't get that in the taste, but I do get that in the okay, smell. Okay, so the taste is I'm candy I'm bar, tasting. candy bar, candy bar, yeah, pine tree, pine salt, <laughs> pine salt. Yeah.